What's up YouTube, Spicicist here. Today we begin a four week journey, one video per week, of this Lay's Flavor Swap 2016 series. So basically eight chips, four that have already been on the shelves for a while, and four new flavors that are trying to overtake the old flavors. Let's start with Korean barbecue trying to take over honey barbecue. Let's try Korean barbecue for science, guys. Never had Korean barbecue in chip form before. I love Korean barbecue, but really, really intrigued to see how this will go in chip form. This particular package has been lying in the corner for a few weeks and has been staring at me evilly, saying, Eat me! Eat me! So I acquiesce and I shall eat the chip for science. So by the way, I'm trying to fit all these videos in right now because the deadline to vote on all of these is March 21, so a little late to the party, but I might as well squeeze them all in while I can. And uh, if you guys have already had all of these chips, please let me know down in the comments what you guys think, alright? Let's smell this here. Mm. It's a little odd. <laughs> I smell... I smell a little bit of soy sauce in there, I smell a little bit of sweetness in there. Almost like a sweet savory kind of a thing. It smells smoky as well. So I'm getting all of that and then some when I'm thinking Korean barbecue. This is going to be interesting. This is just the regular type of Lay's. It's got a brownish kind of hue to it really. I don't know if it's really overcooked or if that's actually the, the seasoning. But we shall see. Korean barbecue. Not bad, actually. I get nice sweetness in there. I get some salty, savory, teriyaki-like goodness. It's not really teriyaki, but you get the point. I'm getting a, a, a meaty experience on that. I don't know if that's going to be off-putting to people or not. For me, I kind of like it. It's pretty interesting and quite tasty at the same time. I do see where they're going with this on this Korean barbecue thing. I'm, I'm actually kind of seeing it for whatever reason because my brain is not working today. But it's not bad. I may or may not have had a few cups of coffee with a few cups of beer and whatnot this morning. I like the smokiness in here actually. The smokiness, the sweet savoriness that remind me of a good, you know, Asian barbecue. I do like that aspect. I do question though if it's going to be a hit with enough people such that it's going to take over the honey barbecue because that has been uh, a pretty popular flavor in certain pockets of the US for a while. Oddly enough though, on that honey barbecue, I didn't realize that flavor existed until I went to Kansas City last year. For whatever reason, I don't see it in the Pacific Northwest, and I think I've only seen it now in my area because of this contest. So, uh, Lays, you're a little late to the game when you know bringing it to my neck of the woods. But for what it's worth, I think both flavors are pretty good. This one's actually a pretty tough call. I do like the, the sweet honey barbecue flavor of chip, but at the same time, uh, this one is unique enough such that I would totally embrace this in a smaller bag, that is. Can't see myself eating the whole bag in one sitting or over a couple of days. You know, it's not that good, but at the same time, it's certainly passable. You know, at the end of the day, I'd give this a low four out of five. It's certainly fine for what it is. It's not, you know, absolute godlike in terms of execution. But, you know, I get this again for sure. Gee, which sauce do I pair with Korean barbecue? I want more Asian sauce. Yep, bulgogi Asian barbecue sauce. I reviewed this uh, in a fan package actually a few months back. Uh, the people at Sweet Heat Gourmet were gracious enough to send this to me to try. So let's give this a shot. This is going to be very interesting, I think. This is packed with sesame oil, so I get a lot of sesame oil fumes right off the bat and flavor from this. This one doesn't have the sesame oil on here, on the chip, so it might actually work pretty well. going to give only a little bit on here because the sesame oil thing is really powerful. 
Okay. If you put some of this sauce on this, we would have an absolute winner for Korean barbecue or any type of really good Asian barbecue. These two together would be absolute 100% win-win chicken dinner like awesomeness. Is it spicy? No. It's not spicy at all. It's a zero on spice, but it's got some pretty good flavor, especially when you pack this in here. So would you try Korean barbecue chips for science? Let me know down in the comments. That's all for the special flavor swap video, guys. Embrace that pain, and I'll see you in the next video.